Hi there, this is Megan with Left in Knots, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the Rick Rack Ladder Stitch. This stitch is the stitch that I used in my Rick Rack Wrap, a free pattern that you can find on my blog, leftinknots.com. The Rick Rack Wrap uses ice yarns, cakes, cotton, fine glitz. You can see it's this beautiful, luxurious cotton blend yarn. It's worked in four strands of fiber and then one strand of this glitz and it just makes for this beautiful finished piece. It's not for the faint of heart. This is definitely not a yarn I would recommend for beginners but it is so beautiful when it's worked up. I'm going to show you how to make this stitch with just a worsted weight acrylic so that you can see my stitch work a little bit better. To start this stitch you are going to want to work with a yarn and a corresponding hook size of your choice and your starting chain should be a multiple of 12 plus 3 plus 2 for the starting chain. So I'm going to chain a multiple of 12 so 12 times 2 is 24 plus 3 is 27 plus 2 is 29 so I'm going to just start a small swatch and chain 29. Okay, now in the third chain from your hook, one, two, three, you are going to double crochet. And you are going to double crochet into the next two stitches as well. Now you're going to chain three and skip three. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three. Now you're going to single crochet after you skip those three. And you're going to single crochet into your next two stitches. Now you're going to chain three and skip three again. One, two, three, and back to double crochet for these next three stitches. Now you will chain three and skip three. Oops. And single crochet in the next three. And chain three, skip three again two, three, and then you're going to double crochet into your last three stitches of your starting chain. Good. So now you stretch that out and you start to see some of that rickrack effect. Now to turn I'm going to chain one and turn. Chain stitches do not count as a stitch. 
So I'm going to single crochet into these three double crochets from the previous row. Now I'm going to chain three and skip these three chain stitches and double crochet into those single crochet stitches from the previous row. Now you're going to chain three, skip three, and single crochet again in those double crochet stitches. And I think you get the idea. This is the pattern that you'll repeat across for this row. You want to make sure you have your chain stitches um, a nice even tension. That will give you the nicest finished result. chain three skip three again you'll single crochet here there now you can I'm, this is small but you can see that if you blocked this right now it would actually make a nice rectangular shape um, because you evened out your stitches working um, single crochet stitches on double crochet and double crochet on single crochet. You've evened out your row. So I'll show you one more row. Moving on to your third row, you're going to chain two, turn, and since you worked single crochets, here in row two, in row three, you're going to work double crochets into those stitches. So you're going to start with a double crochet. Chain three, skip three, single crochet. Chain three, skip three, double crochet. All the way across. I'll work up a few more rows of this pattern so you can see what the swatch looks like. Okay, so you can see I've done a few more rows here. Since my first row worked into those chain stitches, started and ended with double crochet stitches, and this previous row that I worked here also started and ended with double crochet stitches. I'm going to go ahead and crochet one more row that starts and ends with single crochet stitches because that will just square off the piece nicely. This is a super easy stitch that works really well for shawls and wraps because it has some drape to it. Those chain stitches allow it to have nice drape. And it's just a really visually interesting stitch. And once you get going, it's really very easy because you're just, you're using three stitches, double crochet, single crochet, and chain stitches. Really basic, basic stitches for this Rick Rack Ladder stitch. Depending on what you're making with this stitch, um, if you're making my Rick Rack Wrap, um, I did not block that. I don't think that you really do. It's, it has some nice weight to it. Um, but if you're making a flatter piece, I wouldn't 
I would probably recommend either blocking or single crocheting an edge around this just to give it that nice defined square shape. So here you can see the Rick Rack Ladder Stitch. We've got the foundation row and then I worked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of it. Again, I recommend always if you start with those double crochet on the first and last clusters of stitches there, I recommend your last row ending with the single crochet stitches there just to give it a nice squared off effect. I hope you enjoyed learning this stitch. I hope that you also enjoy the Rick Rack Wrap. It's a free pattern that you can find on my blog, leftinknots.com, along with a lot of other free crochet patterns and video tutorials.